So one of the things that we can do now in Microsoft Word is we can create, instead of MLA format papers, we can create something called newsletters. Newsletters. And uh, what these do effectively is it's now, okay, I have a bunch of information that I want to pass on to someone else. So as you can kind of see, I have, I've got this kind of document already built out for us. And one of the things I can do is I can create something like custom margins. So if I position my cursor right there, right there, and I went all the way down to right down here for chronic uh, yoga. One of the things I want is I want all of this to kind of be tabbed inward a little bit. And what I can do is you know, holding my handy dandy keyboard, here's the little shift key, I'm going to hold it down. And then I'm going to click down here at the very bottom. Notice what happened. All my text from where my insertion point starts to that ending point now has just been sort of highlighted out. Pretty nice, all right. And so what we can do from here is we can uh, sort of create custom margins. One of the things you notice inside my ruler is I've got this kind of little tab section up here, and this actually allows for me to control where my text appears. And as you can see, that little thingy at the bottom there, if I click and drag it, that's exactly what it does, is it now lets me click and drag things across a little bit more. Pretty nice. But I want to keep on going with this same thing. You know, now that I've done that, I want to maybe take a look at this stuff, take a look at these current classes. And you notice I got a lot of classes going on here. There's a long list. And it's going on to another page. It's kind of annoying. Well, one of the things I can do is I can create what are known as columns. Now, I don't want to go in here and just say columns and say three, for example. That freaks out my document. Uh, if this happens, pause, click on the undo button. Ah, everything's okay again. But what I can do is if I go back to that column section, and this time instead I select more columns, you're going to notice that I get that same kind of option. Now, I want to do three columns. I still want to do three columns. But notice the bottom there. Apply to apply to if I only say to apply from this point forward aka right at the basic life support for certified healthcare providers if I say this point forward and then I hit okay oh suddenly things are a little bit all right all right there it's not three columns but it's at least columned well, one of the things we can do to finish this is we can actually balance out our column. Like I said, we have three columns. We have one, two, and then technically, if you notice, kind of up here, three. That just doesn't have anything in it. Now, if I position my cursor, I click on right below, right beside the word pain, pain. One of the things I can do is I can even this out by inserting what's known as a continuous section break. Remember, in just a few videos ago, I showed you how we can insert a new page section break. So we do the exact same thing. We come up here to this breaks section. Inside here, we have a few different options. And if I select continuous, take a look at what happens to your columns. Beautiful. It takes every single one of those, and it now has balanced it out so that I have three columns and even data as best it can in each of them.